Fight officer and deputy shortages around the state. The Warner Robins police chief says things are looking up for his department. Sarah Hammond sat down with Chief John Wagner to find out where they are in the hiring process and how possible state budget cuts to law enforcement training classes could affect them. Warner Robins Police Chief John Wagner says right now they're currently down five officers, but that's about to change. With two officers joining the force and a few currently going through the training process, Chief Wagner says that would take them from being down five officers to fully staffed. But we're looking good right now, so I'm, I'm really pleased. He says looking ahead, he wants to continue to grow their investigative traffic and drug units. I do believe that uh, drugs obviously are fueling a lot of our crime, especially the violent crime. Robert Tharp, who lives in Warner Robin, says he's pleased with the department's progress. I think the police department is doing a lot better than it has been in the past. I think there's been a lot of improvements in the staff. Phelan Thoroff says he notices the police presence around the city. I see them up and down the Watson Boulevard and Russell Parkway. I guess they're doing their job. Wagner says hiring officers takes time. It's not something that I give them a key and a badge and, and go to work. It, it's, it's not that easy. And he says possible state budget cuts to law enforcement training classes could slow them down even more. If I'm losing a class, then that's longer that those persons have to sit here in the PD. They're training, they're learning how to write reports, but they're not an officer that I can go ahead and put them on the road and make a risk. He says he doesn't think the state should target law enforcement for budget cuts. I hope they look at different areas because we need those cycles of, of officers and, and deputies going through these, these classes because we're, we're all short. Chief Wagner says even after they're fully staffed, he plans to continue to grow the department to keep up with the growth in the city. In Warner Robins, Sarah Hammond, 13 WMAZ News. Chief Wagner says the budget cuts could take away one class at the training center this year and two the following year.